Hey, what's up? This is Sean. Today we're going to talk about a coding question to Sun from Leecode.com, which has been asked by many top tech companies like Amazon, Google, Apple, Facebook, etc. For those of you who don't know me, I make programming videos. If you want to learn more about how to solve Leecode questions or other cool technologies, subscribe to my channel and smash that like button. In my Leeco series, I'm not only focused on how to pass all the test cases, but also on the thinking process, because that's what an interviewer really cares about during the whiteboarding session. From a personal experience as technical interviewer in a top tech company, we're generally looking for someone who is capable of thinking out loud, communicating effectively instead of just coding in silence. So without further ado, let's jump into the question. Given an array of integers and a target integer, return indices of two numbers such that they add up to the target value. When you see this question, make sure you ask an interviewer clarifying questions like whether the input is valid, can I have multiple solutions, or can I use the same algorithm twice? They may or may not to tell you all this in the very first place. So now you can assume that each input will have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. And you can return the answer in any order. So let's understand the problem first. For example, we have an array which includes 2, 7, 11, 15, and a target value which is 9. Now we are looking for two elements from the array can add up to 9. In this case, it's 2 and 7. Then we find out the indices for 2 and 7 is 0 and 1, so we return a new array and have 0 and 1. For the first example, it's very straightforward, but we do have some edge cases. For example, now we have an array which has 3 and 3, and the target value is 6. If we use the first element twice, we can get our target value, but don't forget we cannot use the same element twice. So the actual answer is the first element and the second element, and their indices are 0 and 1. Now we clear the problem, we can think of the solution. The easiest way is to brute force this, which we can root through all the elements and find all the combination to see which one fits. In this example, let's start with the first element 3, and we compare with the rest of the array. The reason we are not comparing 3 again, because we cannot use the same element twice. So 3 plus 2 is 5, which is not correct, and let's try 3 plus 4, still not right. Now we start with the second element and compare with the rest. 2 plus 4 is 6. We find our solution. We just immediately return the result and do not need to go with the rest of the array because we only have exactly one solution. Okay, let's start to writing the code. I'm going to show you the solution in both JavaScript and Java. You just need to focus on the language you use and the one on the top is using JavaScript the bottom one is Java. The very first thing we do is to write a nested for loop to go through all the elements, making sure the inner index j start at i plus 1. Because we don't want to go through the pairs that we checked before, and we don't want to use the element itself. After that, we just simply add up two numbers. If it's equal to the targets, we generate an array which includes indices and return immediately. At the end, if we couldn't find the results, we can throw an error because there is no solution with given arguments. But if we assume the input always valid, we can skip this one. The brute force solution is easy to understand, but not optimal. The time complexity is unsquare. In order to optimize it, we need to memorize something that we already knew and reuse it to get our result. For example, we look at the current element. We can calculate the difference between the current value and target value. And if we know the index of that div value, we got our results. So here we need to use hash map to help us to memorize the known value and its index. So let's use the same example array 3, 2, 4 with target value 6. And how do we get 6 from 3? The gap between them is another 3. Since this is the first element, we don't have anything inside the hash map, so we cannot get our results. So we memorize the current number and its index. We put the number as a key, the index as a value into the hash map. Now we're at number two. The diff between two and six is four, which we don't find that number in our hash map. So still not the result yet. And we need to update our hash map to include number two and its index. Then we're at number four. The diff is two, and we found two from the hash map and its index is one. 
So we got our results and return 1 and 2. Let's back to our code base and write some code. First, we need to initialize our hash map. And then we loop through the array. For each element, we can calculate the diff by subtract the target value with the current value. And if we know the index of that diff, which in here, we check if the map includes the diff as a key, we can return the results by the index of the diff and the current index. But if we cannot find anything from the map, we can update the map to include the current value and its index. And that's it. We can add an error handling at the end if you're in your interviewer thing that's needed. And let's look at the time complexity. It's big O N since we only loop through the array once. That's pretty much about this video. Hit the like button if you love it. Subscribe if you want more. Leave a comment of anything on top of your mind. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.